In today's video, we're gonna have a cutscene where the character busts show up when you're talking. Sort of like this. Doggies. Now, firstly, we're gonna need a scene, so I've got a little cinema here. I'm gonna have two other people in this conversation. I'm gonna have this girl here, and this girl over here. Now, for the sake of making this easy, I'm just using character busts that are already provided within RPG Maker MZ. If you want, you can use your own images, but I am not making my own images for the purpose of a video. To find these images, you just need to locate your project folder. This will be in your documents in a folder called RMMZ, and we'll click into Level Nights, Images, Pictures, and here we can see our busts. You're also going to need to write a scene, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. No, I'm not gonna film myself writing dialogue for you. Now that we've got our dialogue written, it's time to put it into the game. So let's get the scene going. So the scene's gonna start early, over here. Underneath that, we're gonna make a new event, set movement route, and for the event, Ellie, and she's gonna move up two. Then what we're going to do is tint the screen dark and go show picture. Page two, show picture. We're gonna find the image, select it, and this is where we get to mess around with the variables. So I want this girl to appear on the bottom left. So it's gonna be a bit of trial and error until we get that right. What we're trying to do is line up this picture with the text box. 103. Yeah, 103 looks perfect. So after we show the picture, we're gonna put her line in. Then we're gonna bring his picture in. So we're gonna to go to event page two, show picture. Picture will be picture number two. And he is going to be Y103. And X, let's say 500. Again, we're just gonna to have to test this to see if it'll work out. And yeah, so that works fine. Now one thing we want to do is when the characters are speaking, like with any visual novel, we want the character that's speaking to have a highlighted picture and the character that's not speaking to not have a highlighted picture. So what we've got up here is it shows the picture and Ellie says, I'm sorry, I'm late, I'm always late. After this, we want to tint the picture. Picture number one, we want to tint it dark. So while picture number two is shown and he's speaking, she's going to be tinted dark. So let's just copy that, show text, don't worry, let's go buy a ticket. Then what we're going to do is tint the screen back to normal. Set movement route for the player to move up and then set movement route for Ellie to move up next to him. So she'll move left and up. And if everything works, Ellie over here. I'm sorry I'm late, I'm always late to things. Don't worry about it, let's just go ahead and buy a ticket. Now you'll notice that she tinted pretty slowly because we've got her to tint over 60 frames and wait for completion. So we're just gonna go up and change that. Duration, one frame, don't wait for completion. Now if we look at this, she shows up. I'm sorry I'm late, I'm always late to things. And then she greys out while he comes back on screen. Don't worry about it. Let's just go ahead and buy a ticket. Now, one of the things we did wrong here was we didn't get rid of the pictures after the scene ended. So after the scene ends, we need to go to erase picture one, erase picture two. Also, when it's tinting in and out, let's just make that a bit faster. It'll tint over 10 seconds, wait for completion. Tint over 10 frames, wait for completion. This should be a lot smoother. Ellie, over here! Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm always late to things. Don't worry about it. Let's just go ahead and buy a ticket. Now I know what you're gonna say. But level up design, her portrait's facing the wrong way. It looks like she's ignoring him. Image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal, export. Now, hopefully that's enough for you to have grasped the basics. I'm gonna level this up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the scene. I'm also gonna add in a bit of voice acting and show you what a bit more of a fleshed out scene would look like with this tactic, method, strategy, texture, 
If you want to know how to add voice acting into your game, there'll be a card appearing in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's going to show you a video that I've already done on how to add voice acting into your RPG Maker game. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video I put together before I go to gym. And by the way, yes, I do go to the gym. I've got a membership. I paid for this. If you did like this video, then make sure to scroll down and like the video. And now I'm going to show you the scene. Ellie, over here. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm always late to things. Don't worry about it. Let's just go ahead and buy a ticket. Sam, Ellie, what are you guys doing here? Did you come to watch the new level up design movie? Yeah, Sam invited me along. Awesome, we can watch it together. We were just sort of going to watch it alone, together. Sarah. OMG, are you two on a date? At a level up design movie? No, it's not like that. D d d d d date! And if you haven't liked the video let, and if you haven't liked the video let, fuck! And if you haven't liked the video yet, let me convince you. Hey, you should like this video. You should totally like this video. Mom, why aren't people liking this video? You should like this video. I mean it. Like the video. Catch.